Wow. Four drops? Three or four drops? Dude. That's crazy. Wow. <laughs> nice. Plank shield, which is bullshit. There's a, a wall here. And another one. Another here. Twin humanities. An illusionary wall ahead. Yep. He's right. Wow. I got a lot of shards. And I can get another one that's down here that's lying. There's one lying around here as well. That's crazy. Will you go down here? The first time I had no idea. Who the fuck died? The first time I had no idea what's going on here, man. Let's get... Uh, one more dex. Now, I might die here. And since I'm lazy, I'm gonna equip a homeward bone because I'm gonna teleport out of there. Now, down there... Uh, where is it? Fuck. Wait, why is it not there? What? Ah, there. There's a ring. And to get it, you can jump down here. Now, you can take this white line as an indicator, I think. You can take this as an indicator. I would take this as an indicator. And then you just... Oh my god, I might die here, but whatever. You take can take this as an indicator and you just... Walk off and I, yeah, <laughs> don't take this as an indicator, but it's not that bad. I mean, it's really not that big of a deal, like at all, because your souls are up here again. You can attempt to jump again, unless you fall down here because by accident. So take that line as an indicator, but a little bit higher and then you run down and then you can get it. Chloranthi ring. I'm gonna pull it out of this because I'm lazy. And what this ring does is... Where is it? Chloranthi boost stamina recovery speed. Right? So it's really good. Hastens the regeneration of stamina. The ancient ring engraved with a large green flower is of unknown origin. So, if you look at my stamina, I'm gonna try to... Well, I can run there anyways. Now, see how, how that's fast. <laughs> well, it's 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 a fast regeneration. It's really fast. Now, I'm gonna go out of here. I'm gonna collect the one other titanite shard that's lying around here. And since I've, I've arrested at the bonfire, the guys are re respawned, so I can do one more run, I guess. It's only like three minutes extra of all of this, so it's not that big of a deal. Down there are the leeches, you could drop down on them like so. Kill them again. Ah, no dice. This time I'm gonna go the other way around. Oh shit. I switched too fast. Again, wow I'm stupid. Do the swipe. You should avoid taking damage because in a bad situation you might actually need your Estesis if you really mess up. But you can do this run again, just just going around. If you take the Chloranthi, that's what I would do because it's another extra set of spawns which you can take advantage of, which is always good. So if you're lucky like I am, you could actually Get enough shards to like plus seven or eight your your weapon. And I think you now you can see why I was emphasizing on the one one titanite shard in the depth so much because this right now makes makes me come on, dude. Wow. Okay. Okay. I'm lucky. Or I just have seven humanity. One of the two. Uh, either I'm lucky or it's my seven humanity. Five green ones. That's okay as well. You can later break them down by fremd. And who fremd is, well, you will find out a little bit later. Wow, another one. 
Ah, green ones. Meh. Not too bad. Green ones are for fire enchantments as far as I am con so as far as I know. Now sometimes you might not see loot in these guys because yeah, sometimes it's messed up. Again, be a little careful so you don't get staggered by these guys. That's why the wolf ring is really good. Without the wolf ring I would run into really big problems here if I get hit. Okay, so the next run is almost done here. There's this guy, and then there was the other guy where I picked up the mist. I don't know if I will do them. Or will, uh, blah, blah, blah. Back there is the way up to the Chloranthi. So it's all in this little nook, I guess. Later we will go up this way as well to get power within. Just a little heads up. I'm gonna do this guy here as well. Because if he drops a shard, then it was worth it. If not, then well... I don't know. Whoops. I drank an Estus. <laughs> ah, this is so fucking good, I might not even... Wow. If I'm lucky enough, I might not even need to grind. Uh, I'm gonna rest here real quick, so I can... Recharge my Estuses. And as you can see, oh, this is so fucking lucky. Jesus Christ. I have six. Plus seven. Plus eight. Plus nine. Plus nine great scythe. And I only need two more and it's plus ten. That is really damn good. And you can get another shard from a drop, or not a drop, but... Oh, there is something, right? No, that's just a dude. Um, there is another shot lying around right here, so... Be careful of these throwing dudes, by the way. They will wreck you. But yeah. I think I'm gonna farm one more so you can see I can plus 10 this bad boy. So you know that my route is pretty good. If you can keep the humanity that you get from farming some, some points or something, wow. I mean, I guess you can see that it's really, it's really viable. There's another item there, but you get swarmed there. I would be a little, a little bit careful at least. So you don't get wrecked. I've been watching too much Twitch. Everyone is saying wrecked. As in R-E-K-T get wrecked bro all right shield up because mosquito douchebags <clears throat> when I did the run the first couple of times I always killed the mosquitoes but they really slow your well leeches per minute down when, I, when you want to want to say it like that so don't bother with them they don't follow you that that far and they are fairly slow So, yeah, I mean, really good method to get a plus 10 before you do K-Log. I mean, even if you're not as lucky as I was in my first ru run where I got like, I looted two and I had six, right? No, I looted, wait, no, I looted one and I had six, so I found five in one run, which is... Or, I guess it was two runs, because, yeah, it was two runs. Five and two runs. Which is fairly good. You need nine to go from pl from uh, plus five to plus ten. You need nine large shards. So, yeah. I was in luck. But as you can see... You're not always as lucky as I was, because now I'm not getting any drops. So... It can take a while to farm it, but it's definitely worth it, especially if you have problems with the boss in this hellhole. If you have problems here, plus tending your weapon is... is pretty much 
Holy shit, he's breakdancing. Plus, tending your weapon is the best way to make this boss easy. And like, like I said, like I think it, uh, it, it, it uh, b -b 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 I'm stuttering like a fool. But yeah, I mean, you can get it on the way if you want to get Chloranthi anyway or something like that. I mean, it's on the way to kill these leeches, and it's not like you have to grind two hours to get an upgrade. I mean, it should be enough to do this, like, if you do it half an hour, you should be able to, like, plus 10 your shield, plus 10 your weapon, and maybe even plus 3 or 4 your armor, so. But I, it looks like I was unlucky, and I, oh shit. And I didn't get, well, I, is that enough? Whoops. Yes, I got a plus 10. Guys, this is awesome. This is really, really good. So I can cliffhanger. Well, uh, I always say cliffhanger, but pff, to you guys it doesn't even really matter because I think I will upload one episode a day, so cliffhanger is not really appropriate, I guess. Now, I'm, I am really non knowledgeable about the first... <coughs> Excuse me. About the first half of the game, but after that, it kind of goes downhill when it comes to my knowledge. And I can level up. One of vitality. Because why not? Now, if you want to do dragon weapons, you can go up here. Ah, my voice is going out. This is not good. I haven't done this in a while. The commentary thing. And down here is a chest with a dragon scale. So if you have a dragon weapon or you plan on playing with a dragon weapon, that's really good. <coughs> oh my god, I'm getting a cough now because my my throat can't handle this commentary business anymore. God damn it. But, elves, uh, elf, I am starting to talk German already. Elf, 11, <laughs> 11 souls. I'm rich, dude. But yeah, this wraps up this session. I've been at it for about two hours. I've... Well, let's do that right now. <clears throat> Where is it? <laughs> I don't have the souls for it. Um, we can change that. These are 200s. Here we go. Blang, blang, blang. No, not level up. Reinforce weapon. <coughs> Plus ten, motherfucker. Yep, we have a plus ten great scythe before Kalak without really a lot of effort. I started going down to Blighttown when my recording was at 145, 1 hour 45 minutes. And now I'm at two hours and nine minutes, so with the way there and all that stuff, it's not that much. Like, if you have to farm, you might need an hour from Fire Link to plus ten if you got plus six weapon. If you have to go back to Andre, it's all relative, but that has been it. My damage looks fairly good, I guess. Yep, 276 right there. Or 237. No, 76. 276 which is really good without the buff of magic weapon so yeah really good all right so this was it the next episode we're gonna go Kalak and then we are gonna either plus 15 our weapon or we're gonna do sense fortress so it's either new Londo or it's sense fortress one of the two maybe something completely different which I haven't decided yet We'll figure that out in the next episode session. So, take care, guys. I'm out. I hope you enjoyed it. And you can follow me on Twitter. Twitter.com slash unsaintly1. And if you enjoyed it, leave a like, all that stuff. I kind of forgot it. You can you get another bow for that, huh? You can you can get another bow for that. Now I'm out. Now, now I'm stopping. Take care, guys. I'm out. Peace.